All right, so these are the tools and the materials uh, needed for multiple location dimmers. The Lutron Maestro uh, comes with a master dimmer and a companion. Because I'm going to be doing a three station dimmer, I need another companion, which is that this third box. Uh, you can have as many as nine dimmers on a circuit with this Lutron product, uh, but I'm opting only to go to three. Other than this, just common tools, uh, electricians, pliers, strippers. Hi, I'm John. I'm a retired general contractor. Uh, today, we're going to be uh, hooking up dimmer switches in multiple locations to control uh, the main lights, ceiling lights. Now, the ceiling lights are these recessed cans, six of them. Now, when you do a dimmer switch in multiple locations, most dimmer switches only dim from one location, so that the dim level set at one of the switches, and that's it. The other switches just turn it on or off. Uh, Lutron makes a Maestro series of switch, and you can adjust the dim level from any of the switches. The wiring for them, they're, they're a bit more complex than just sticking in a light switch. This is the instructions that you get, and that's a lot to absorb. And as you look through this, all the way down here in the bottom, it tells you this is how you wire our switch for three locations or more. Well, that's really the most important part to me. That's what we, so I went ahead. And I blew it up. Now, there's a couple things about wiring diagrams if you're not used to them. Uh, it talks about having live. Well, that's the incoming power. That's the wire that's got the power coming from your panel or wherever it's coming from. And then they talk about the light fixture on the other end. The, the, the power is coming through the switches to the light. And then it has a little symbol that says neutral. And really, when you have power, you have a black and a white wire comes off your panel. That's the white wire that ultimately returns to your panel. And they don't even show you that there's a neutral coming from the panel. You have to know that that wire is going all the way back. So neutral, even though it looks like it's going here and quits, it really winds up through the series of wires in your wall. It goes back to your panel. Similarly, they show you a ground and a ground and a ground, like as if it just goes there and that's it. Well, that's the bare wire that you're used to seeing when you buy wire. And that bare wire is actually going to loop and interconnect and go back to the panel as well. So the neutral goes back to the panel, the ground goes back to the panel. They don't show you that because the drawing would get so full of information because it's 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 just it's easy to do, but but this stuff is very particular what happens up here. Now, when you normally uh, when you when you when you wire a common light switch it's all just basically two wires, a black wire and a white wire. When you wire three-way fixtures, multiple location fixtures, you have to have three-stranded wire that goes from switch to switch and two strands that come in for, to bring the power and two strands that go out to the light. So you have to use three-way wire between the switches and you use two-way wire on the outside of the switches. Now, you can see from the picture, they only show one because they don't show you the neutral. They only show you two wires here because that you don't see the neutral or the ground or any of that stuff. And the same is here. So you, they, you can see there's more wire here and here than at the ends. That's where you're using the three, like three standard wire, commonly called 14 slash three. Uh, it really has four wires, including the ground. But nonetheless, it's more wires between the switches than there are at the ends. So we're gonna go ahead and wire this project here exactly like this is shown. Uh, this is new construction. Having done this before, I knew that I wanted to bring power into my first switch, loop to my second switch, loop to my third switch, 
and then the light fixture wire is actually in this in this junction box so we're going to go one two three and done and we're going to follow this diagram to do the work so the very first switch where the power comes in is on this wall all right so here we're at our first location uh, we're just following our diagram i wired this box where i have the power wire coming in which is this black and white 14-2 and then i wired it where i have this wire going to the next switch which is just triple 14-3 and uh, the ground wire uh, is the bare wire they don't really show you where they go but i explained earlier that they just wire together they don't show that because it's just the same every time so we're just going to wire them together so we'll take our device and these wires and just put them together even them up and I also explained earlier that the neutral wires aren't shown on the diagram but again, they just wire together. And then you're left with these three wires. The black power wire and the red and the black that go to the next switch. Well, our diagram says the black power wire goes to the black terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and use the red wire to connect all the blues together. So I would take the power on the black and the red, I'm going to put on the blue. And what I mean by that is there's a black terminal, black, brass, and blue. I'm going to take the power and put it on the black. There's a little hole in there. You just push it, it goes in. I'm going to take the red, as I said, and I'm going to put that on the blue. And you just push that in. And then the remaining wire goes in the last hole. And now we're ready to go to the next switch. All right, so now we're at our second switch location. We're on this diagram. And you can see where it says either use a dimmer or a companion dimmer. Uh, this is the Lutron Maestro system. Uh, there is one main dimmer, which is this guy. It has these little indicator lights that come down the side. The other ones don't have that. And you just figure out which place you'd prefer to have those indicator lights on. They, 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 they show, uh, it, it makes it easier to find it at night if you have the illuminated switch. Anyhow, coming back to this, we see that there's a ground connection, which means that's these bare wires of the ground. They don't show the white wires, as I told you before, there's no neutral shown, but all the whites just go together. And then you got to figure out where these four wires go. And in this case, the red wire we had leaving the blue terminal goes to blue. And then there's another going to continue. So the two reds have to tie to this guy. Now this guy has one push connector, but doesn't have two. But i got to get two wires on this connector. So I'm going to put one of them actually on the screw and the other one here. Other than that, I'm just going to use the push connectors. So we'll go ahead. We're going to combine these ground wires together. And we'll hang this from it. Normally I would twist all these together nice and tight before I put the connector on. But you don't have to. And I'm going to be doing some other things later makes it easier to get apart if you don't do that. Anyhow, the whites just go together as I explained, even though it's not on the diagram. And then the other thing we said is that we had to get, uh, the, what, the two reds have to go to the blue terminal. Well, one of them I can just stick there like I had it. 
and the other one I can actually use that screw. So you put a little bend on that wire. Open up the screw. Okay. And then looking at our diagram, it says that I got a wire coming from the brass uh, connector goes to brass connector, and this black is gonna go to the brass. It gets to, you just do what it says, don't worry about why. Now, the way I wired this, I happen to know that I, the, the, there's two wires coming down. My left hand wire is the one that went over there. So, I'm gonna connect this one to the brass. the other one to the black. Now, you're probably saying, well, what happens if I get those backwards? Nothing, it'll still work. Uh, the reason that it matters is that the switches have an up and a down to them. And if you get those wires reversed, on will be off and off will be on. And you can, you know, normally you can turn your switch upside down and just compensate for that. But uh, in the case of these, uh, if you get it backwards, you just switch them later. If one of your switches seems to be bad. Anyway, that's it for this location. So we'll move to the last location. And uh, as before, I got these various wires. I got a 14-3, which has got the three strands. Now, uh, and this is the last switch, and again, I wired it just like it said. This two-way wire, this black and white only, goes to the light fixture. And this is coming from this switch, these three. So I'm going to do what I've been doing. I tie the ground wires together, which I have been using this for temporary. So I've already got these ground wires in use, but I can add this. Then I'm going to put my white wires together. Put all the neutrals again, just like the diagram doesn't show you, they just go together. And then referring to our diagram, we were going to loop a red wire to be from blue to blue to blue. So I'm going to put this red wire on blue. And then it says my light fixture wire goes to the black. And this is the black. And this is the light fixture because it's, it's in the wire jacket that only has two strands. So I know that that's the light. And then this black wire from the other switch, it tells you to put it to the brass. So now that switch is all done. So the only thing left to do now is to turn the power on and see what we got. So I'm gonna run downstairs, change the circuit. I'll be right back. So, all right, got the circuit back on. And uh, this is the main control unit that had the indicator lights on it. If you give it a double tap, the lights come up right away to full blast, full intensity. And I can dim it from here using a little rocker switch and set it wherever I like. And uh, it's just a matter of you know, using the rocker switch and the little double taps or single taps on and off. 
If we go to another location, we'll go to this one right here. Uh, the lights are right now, they're on dim. But if we look up at the lights, I can change the dim level from here, which is kind of handy rather than have to go back to the main station. Anyway, I hope this helps you. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you would and help us uh, keep bringing more information to you.